just come outside just for a little bit of air and it is a beautiful day a little windy but still absolutely gorgeous so I have some time before we have to leave for Vegas oh bless you <laughs> so I'm gonna get my swim costume on and read a little book in the sunshine in fact let me show you guys my SPF routine it's the perfect time okay so I'm really not sure what happened here I think when I last traveled, I don't know, somehow it opened up my suitcase. But anyway, I have been using this for the longest. It's tinted as well, and it's SPF 46, so that is pretty high, but um, I use it every day on my face. And then when I'm out, because obviously I don't wanna keep reapplying this, especially if I have, I don't know, like some concealer on or something. So I use this. This is a face mist. So um, it's perfect to go on over makeup or anything uh, and just to top up. And the same, I use this one, the same brand anyway. On my body, it's a spray again. So that is just like super convenient. Okay, so next up I have this, which I use on my hands and my neck actually, like as a top up. Uh, yeah, because your hands and your neck, they age. They sure do. And the sun can age them like crazy. My latest addition is actually a hair mist for the scalp. Cause I think I was sunbathing once and I had like a middle part in and my middle part in was so red. It completely burned and was flaking. Yeah, so um, now I use this. So yeah guys, if you don't wear SPF, this is your sign to start. So please tell me I'm not the only one that spends ages doing their hair, styling it down, and then gets all hot and bothered and chucks it up. I don't know, I just, I give up, like, I give up. <laughs> but this is me 99% of the time. So the plan, I'm just about to pack. So we're going Vegas today, I think shortly actually. <laughs> so yeah, I left it kind of last minute, but um, 
I think Sim is like, I don't know, doing something anyway. So that's like my cue. If he's not ready, then listen, I know that I'll be ready in time because he takes ages. So we're going for um, five days, but this is the thing, okay? Sim loves to take his car. Like any opportunity he can get to drive his car, like especially long distance, he will do it. So we are taking the McLaren, which means I have to pack one smallish bag so that it fits in the boot of the car. So that's gonna be interesting. So, um, I mean, I always pack like by prepping my outfits beforehand and everything that I'm wearing. And I already have some like mini toiletries anyway, because I generally just like to pack small anyway. You know, I don't know why I like being organized. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be too hard. So it's not a pleasure trip, it's definitely a work trip. No, that sounds bad, of course it's pleasure. We're going to see our inner socks family, who we love. So of course it's pleasure as well, but it is for work. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna need a lot of fitness stuff. Um, a couple bikinis maybe, and a couple dinner outfits. So yeah, super, super simple anyway. But um, hi guys, <laughs> I feel like I have been rubbish again. Um, you know, we are now in month five of the pregnancy, we're five months, um, and it's been a journey. It has really been a journey. So the sickness kind of stopped from the first trimester. I still have some days, like last night, like I was throwing up and feeling sick. So it's kind of on and off, but this trimester, the tiredness has hit me. So like, it's kind of funny because when I was so ill in the first trimester, everyone was like, don't worry, you know, you're gonna get to the second trimester and that's when you're gonna feel amazing, your energy is gonna come back. Yeah, it kind of didn't, babes, it kind of didn't. Like, I still feel like so tired. So it's been really hard just to find the motivation to just turn the camera on, to just talk. You know, not everything is always perfect and this is just real life. So when it comes to just vlogging my day, it is what it is, do you know what I mean? Like how I am, how I'm feeling, what I look like. Um, it is what it is. But on a positive note, we did have our anatomy scan and our baby is perfect, like in every way. So yeah, I think it's finally time that we need to start buying some bits. I've bought nothing, guys. When I say zero, I mean zero. So like there's four months to go and I have not one thing. <laughs> so that is definitely gonna be next on the list. Um, gonna start feeling a little bit more prepared for our baby's arrival. But it's just, it's amazing. Every time I get to see the baby and hear the heartbeat, it's like, wow. So as hard as I'm finding pregnancy, like, at the same time, it is the most beautiful thing ever. It's so strange, you know, it's like, you feel rubbish, but at the same time, you feel extremely grateful and just overwhelmed with love. Like, I can feel the baby, like, moving now and kicking and all sorts. So, it's all very real, guys, it's all very real. Anyway, look at me chatting, and it's like, I have no time at all. So, let me get to packing. gathering some snacks together because I don't know it's a kind of long road trip so it's going to be about um five hours and there's not really um any places to stop and get food so anyway just I am prepared so we have these little seaweed snacks these are actually really good uh they're teriyaki flavored as well so it gives it a little punch my cashews unroasted and unsalted now these, just in case I really fancy some sweets um, or just something to kind of like suck on. So there's only two grams of, sugars in, of sugar in these as well, so that's really good. 
I have a little pineapple fruit pot. Now these fruit pots are really handy to just throw in your bag if you're on the go since, you know, it's kind of hard to transport pineapple. <laughs> we also have an orange. And then I have three type of bars. I am loving these grain bars right now. I have throughout the whole pregnancy. So this one, which is just granola, oats and honey. This one, you know, it's kind of high in sugar, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's just a strawberry grain bar. And then this little mixed berry granola bar. Now I'm probably not gonna eat all of these, but it's just handy to have, so I'm prepared just in case. So this is my weekend travel bag. Yes, guys, I am going to fit five days worth in this. It's not gonna happen, is it really? Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty spacious and I obviously have my handbag as well. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll just see how we get on. But I also have these packing cubes, which are absolutely amazing. Um, for this trip, I think I'm only gonna need the three of them. So toiletries, um, like hills and then cloves. It's actually, they're super spacious though, but I have so many of these. I think I have about eight. So when I'm packing like a whole suitcase, I always pack with these. It helps to keep things so organized. So my closet is not very organized. So I don't really want to show you everything, but um, this is it anyway. And behind me, but I'm actually like hiding all of the mess. <laughs> like either side and laundry I have to put out. So anyway, let's get picking stuff out. Hmm. <laughs> Not doing too bad, hey buddy? Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Uh, so I have a couple workout sets, like two leggings, two sports bras. Um, some like dressy dresses, I guess, that are still like super comfortable. Pajamas just in case, like I know the hotel has like a robe <laughs> that I live in, but this is just if I wanna get a little bit more comfortable. Uh, some jumpsuits and a maxi dress, which is perfect. Um, Cause you know, essentially you have like the shorts and top in one. It's genius when you're small packing. Uh, one bikini, <laughs> cause I don't think I'm gonna have much time to be uh, chilling by the pool. And unfortunately it is a mix match situation. So my boobs have grown uh, ridiculously that none of my bikini tops fit me. Um, but yeah, this black bikini top is a little bit big, like it's always been too big for me, so it's perfect. But yeah, I'll ignore that. Uh, some bras, some knickers. All right, beep, beep, Cody. Good boy. One pair of trainers, one pair of heels. These heels are so perfect, guys, because they're so comfortable and they go with everything. Uh, and then what I'm going to wear. So I've just got like a beige dress. I'm gonna wear a chunky cardigan um, in the car, which will save space in the bag. And a little, <laughs> this boy, excuse me. <laughs> and a pair of flip flops, what I'm gonna wear in the car as well. So yeah, this is where we're at so far with the clothes. toothbrush and my razor and I'm actually just going to take my full makeup bag um, it's so dirty excuse that <laughs> but you know throw my favorites the Nasir moisturizer uh, my highlighter the Hoola bronzer Nars concealer you know a Fenty contour stick all my faves and also my brush bag as well so moving on to the hair products I'm really trying guys to not scrape my hair back in like a bun or a ponytail because let's face it, it's really damaging uh, my hair and I can see the breakage. So instead, I'm trying to keep it curly, all right? So obviously, wide tooth comb, this to pick through the curls at the top. A little bag with like, I've got a bun in, some clips, some hair bands, a mini hair gel. 
This is an absolute nightmare to decanter. I've tried, you can tell by how battered the bottle is. So the whole thing is coming with me. But if I can, I'm gonna try find a mini version of it uh, that I can travel with. So yeah, that is it for the hair. Pretty low maintenance. I'll use obviously water at the hotel to spruce it up a little bit. But apart from that, I shouldn't need a wash day during this time. Also, if it sounds like I'm lisping all of a sudden, I put my aligners back in. <laughs> so I think I'm still trying to get used to them. It's been about a month, but um, I've just put them back in because I keep forgetting after breakfast to put them back in. Yeah, I still get like a little lisp when I'm wearing them. But anyway, I only have an, like three more months wearing them. It was four months in total, guys. Very minor corrections. Um, when you're pregnant, you know, your teeth can shift and move. So I was like, why don't I take advantage of my loosening teeth and actually like get them to just line up how I want them. So very minor, like I said, so um, kind of just the top, just bring it out a little bit for a wider smile. And my bottom teeth, they slightly overlap. So I'm just gonna fix that as well. So travel update, Sim is now showering. That is promising. <laughs> so that means we will be leaving soon. So I just have my technology to pack. I will bring in Mr. Bear with us as well. So I need to pack him a bag and get changed. And I guess sort this hair out. I mean, look at it. <clears throat> it's just getting frizzier. Like, I don't know why. Anyway. Oh, and I'm also gonna pack um, some of my sickness stuff because like I said, I was throwing up yesterday. So it's just best to be prepared. But actually, let me show you my little, uh, I think I've shown it on Instagram, but not YouTube. So this little pack was an absolute lifesaver during my first trimester. Let me open it up and show you what is inside. You can see how bad it is, by the way, because I took it with me everywhere. I'm saying everywhere. This was crunched up in my bag. Okay, so this is what is in my morning sickness bag. Now, this is everything that works for me, but guys, if you suffer from morning sickness, I 1000% recommend doing something like this with everything that works for you. So this is just what worked for me. Your bag might look a little bit different. But anyway, I have waterless toothbrushes. So if you see in the middle, they have like gel in the middle, like toothpaste, and you don't need to rinse out or anything. So you can just use them as they are. Uh, great to freshen your breath back up. I have motion sickness bands. So these look like that. So they rest on the pressure point of your wrist, which um, helps to stop nausea. I have liquid electrolytes. Obviously, when you throw up, you lose a lot of electrolytes in the fluids. So yeah, this just goes in water. Listerine, again, for after throwing up. Mentos. So these actually work for me. If I was feeling sick, I would just suck on one of these. And sometimes it would help, actually. So that's what that's for. Uh, some Tums. I don't know where the label is but anyway these are some tums as well if you're feeling a little bit gassy or bloated turmeric and ginger again can help with sickness you literally just add this to water this is a ginger and honey drop again if you suck on it um it can just help with sickness uh these are my um anti-sickness medication so I was prescribed these when I was throwing up day and night and not keeping any fluids down. They're pretty intense, um, but they work. They 1000% work. The only problem is, is they come with side effects. So they make, they give you a migraine, they give you blurred vision. So I also have some Tylenol here that my doctor said is okay for me to take. But I only take this if I take these, which is very rare these days, but just in case. So it was very ambitious of me <laughs> to think I would fit everything in this one bag, but we managed to do it with two. So I also decided not to wear the beige dress. Uh, comfort first. And these leggings are so comfortable. Baggy top. But I did make an effort with my hair. See, I put it back down. I think we're ready. Also almost forgot tea bags. I pack them now. <laughs> Always remember to take tea bags. Very British of me. Okay, third and final outfit change because we're gonna get there pretty late, probably about 9.30, 10 p.m. once we leave. So we're a little bit chillier. Katie, are you ready for the road trip? Got your little bandana on? 
Yeah. High five. <laughs> yeah.